Mark J in Massachusetts. This is your Striker SR955 HP. I've finished most of the mods on it. There's your Palomar Max mod. Uh, replacement transistor. It stays a lot cooler than the stock TIP36. What I've started doing to upgrade the DC input buffer filter rather than try to replace that little 470 microfarad they got done in there I just attach a 3300 to the power connector okay so that's been upgraded to a 3300 plus the little 470 that they have in there which I think is way undersized but uh, here's your voltage regulator buffer filter uh, for, we upgraded it from a thousand uh, microfarad to a 3300 at 25 volt for the vote that's for the voltage regulator right there u506 or whatever it is upgraded your uh 10.7 if filter and i've done the uh conversion also done the tune-up on the radio already and i'm getting ready to install the uh sp1a okay so more to come Okay, we got your SP1A mounted there with double-sided tape. And uh, I don't think it's going to interfere with the speaker. i got to double-check that. But uh, got the wires running over here and connected up. And what I did was push out one of the uh, uh, nuts, one of the fixed nuts, the press nuts that uh, go into the chassis there. I just pushed one of those out and put the switch, or it's a sub mini toggle, into that position. So rather than drill a hole in your cover, we'll have to make the hole in the cover a little bigger though, but you control the SP1A right there rather than put it in the back. Okay. Right. Let me. Uh, let me fix the cover and I'll put it on there and show you what it looks like. More to come. Okay, Mark. I wanted to show you that I beefed up the runs with solder that supply power to these uh, new 2030s. Got them all installed. And they are the 2030 Plus. Oh, uh, not just 2030s. Get a better shot. You see that? I believe you can. Okay. They are the oh, new IRF 2030s. Let's see. Right there. Maybe it should be able to see that really well. There's a 2030 plus. Okay. I need to put the uh, the little power bridge back across these two that little guy right there and then put uh, this thing here back on there all right more to come all right got the little power bridge back on there and boy these leads sure are close better make damn sure that uh, they're not touching and i did i checked it with uh a volt ohm meter and they are isolated but boy are they close okay let me put the uh, other thing back on there okay got everything put back together now of course i did check it out before i put this back on there and everything's copacetic so be doing some power tests next okay that's what it looks like i haven't put the screws in the covers yet but it will you can see that it sticks out just a little bit right there just a tiny little bit and it's the covers hitting the nut there on the back but uh i didn't want to drill that out to clear the nut you know didn't want to do that so 
there it is right there it's, it's easy to get to once i get the screws rest of the screws in the covers you know it's not going to move around all right let's do a little test put this thing on this well actually i'm gonna turn it off i'm on side band i got a 100 watt on that side a 250 watt on that side hello audio audio one two one two audio it's about 110 peak audio hello hello audio audio one two one two audio all right now let's flip this little guy on now the sp1a is on audio hello hello audio audio one two three four five five four three two one audio test test audio audio one two one two audio audio one two so it keeps your average power up now and let's see what it looks like over here with it turned on audio hello hello audio you can see that it saturates the audio envelope now let me turn it off and this is what it looks like with it off audio one two one two audio Audio, hello, hello, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Turned it back on, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio, test, test, audio, audio, hello. You will be heard. Okay, that was, those tests were on lower side bend. Our power's all the way up. I turned the SP1A back off. <laughs> Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two. Uh oh, my mic is coming unplugged. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio. You can see we're doing about uh, 30 watts dead key uh, with power turned all the way up, swinging to above 100 peak. Okay, let me turn the RF power all the way down. Dead key and What's that, about two, three watts? Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two. Now I'm going to flip the SP1A on with power left all the way down. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, 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 audio. Fix this down microphone connector. One of these days I'm going to replace it. It's just very loose in these radios. But I don't want to take the stock mic out of the accessory package because then everything falls out and I never do get it back in right. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. All right, there you go. Let's see what it looks like over here. Audio, hello, hello, audio. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. Right, let's turn power all the way back up. Audio one two one two audio audio hello hello audio audio one two three four five five four three two one. Okay, here's what it looks like with it turned off. Audio one two one two audio audio one two. On audio one two one two audio audio one two three four five five four three two one. You can see it's more effective on sideband than it is on AM. But I'm going to leave it set on AM. Uh, so I'm going to put the screws in it, put the uh, uh, Lescom label on the side of it, service label. And that's going to do it. Mark J in Massachusetts. Sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It was my pleasure to build it for you. 7-3, everybody.